Welcome to Testimony. Today we have an exciting show planned for you. We have a wonderful, wonderful guest with a surprise for you. Her name is Miss Joyce Sorrell. So while we're getting into it, let's go straight into inviting her in. Good morning, Miss Sorrell. Good nice morning, Miss Veronica. You. Nice to be here. Great. Um, Miss Sorrell is from Lowerville. Lowerville, Louisiana, born yes. and raised. Um, one of ten children, been singing since 1982, but didn't get into the church till 86. Wonderful, wonderful. So it didn't take you all that long. It didn't you... take me all that long, <laughs> but I, I knew God had something for me. Right. I was doing singing, but I was not singing at my church. Okay. I was doing uh, funerals and different weddings, but he, he needed me to be at my church. And when he appointed me, I went and I've been at that church since Amen. 1986. Amen. So what exactly brought you to the Lord that gave that major change over in 86? Well, um, I had a few officers sing with different groups, but I always knew that my, I was comfortable when I was singing for God, singing gospel songs. So in 1986, what happened to me was I had, um, I had death, divorce, and I had a um, tragic moment that happened in my life. And with all that, God has been giving me a bearable healing. And through the deaths of my mom, and I divorced uh, my husband, and my 13-year-old son was um, playing with some friends, and he fell into a bayou. And um, I was nowhere around. I was at working. And um, when they called me and I got there, they hadn't got him out of the body. He was doing fine. But the, but the problem was my mind. I couldn't believe what had happened to me all at that time. And I said, I'm literally thinking I'm going to lose my mind. So I prayed and I prayed and I prayed. And that was the answer for me. I will give you a peace of mind if you listen to what I've been calling you to do. And that's to sing, my, sing the praises of Jesus Christ. And that's what I've been doing. So, he gave me the, the desires of what I needed and I've been giving him back. Okay. All and more. So at the time, uh, I'm trying to get to the point where you actually, um, from, what I'm, from what I'm understanding, you were, when you were singing the other songs, and um, then you end up having sit some situations happen. In my life. And then, but in the midst of all that, you heard some gospel somewhere in the... In the we uh, always had gospel in the house. Ever since I was a little girl, when the gospel music would come on at a certain time, for maybe about two hours, and I was singing and my mom would say, oh, go little girl. But just as fast as the gospel got off, the secular music came on, and I was singing, and she was saying, oh, you, you can sing. So I, I knew I could sing, but I did not separate. I did not separate what was good for me back then until I started having things happening to me and knowing that I could not work this out. There's no way I can work this out. There's somebody bigger than me that can find me some peace and give me some direction. And it directed me straight into gospel. And that's my passion. Okay, so t take us back to the first song. When you, when you sang for the first time for the Lord, what, was, what were you feeling? What came out? What hit you? What well, the first thing was nobody in my church had ever seen me in a choir. So a lot of my family members knew I could sing. I was scared. I didn't know if I was going to remember my song. So I got up on the choir stand and... Uh, I started singing, and the, and the song I sang was, uh, I Would Be True to You. And, and that's an old gospel song that, it was out of the hymn book, a Catholic hymn book. And I started singing, and I said, and as I was singing, I was looking at people because I was looking for reaction from people, not knowing then that the reaction had to come from the Lord. Right, yeah. So I was looking because I didn't know if I was doing something 
wrong or hitting the wrong note and I'll just start to sing and, and when it started to come out, I got teary eyed, but I stayed the course and I start looking at the reaction and their reaction was, I guess, the same as mine. You have a gift from God and you are right now are touching people in this church and they are as surprised as I was that day. Awesome. And that's a piece that only a singer can tell you when they start to sing the praises of Jesus. That's a piece that it just don't come at awesome. just anybody. And I sang and I've been singing <clears throat> ever since until I done moved up to become the director Hallelujah. of the full gospel choir. <laughs> and I said, you know, I was singing and I told the I told my pastor, I said, I'm going to sing whether I'm behind the piano or in front, but I'm here to stay. I'm going to sing because that's what my passion is, and it's gospel and it's singing and praising God. So tell me, I, I bet after that first song, when you first got that, that, they must have wanted you to sing again the same day, another song. Did you have a chance to sing another song? I did sing just... another song at the end of Mass. <laughs> he said, you need to sing another song. And we hadn't really practiced it, but I said, just give it to me. And I, after church, it was, you've been in, in church sitting on side of us all this time. Mm. I said, but he had to be ready for me. Right. And um, I've been doing it ever since, Ms. Monica. Oh, wow. Um, I heard some of, of, of your testimony, but I hadn't gotten to this part. And I'm, I'm amazed just listening to it because I can only imagine. I think somewhere in the majority of people's minds, we all want that yes. chance to sing or yes. be able to sing. We, we all think we could sing at some little small point, yeah. but to be blessed with the yes. gift is just an awesome, awesome thing. So. You're singing <clears throat> regularly now. Yeah. Oh, yeah, on a, on a regular on a basis. Weekly basis. Yes. Going, traveling, uh, different churches, auditorium, everywhere they need me to be. Awesome. That's why I am singing okay. and praising God. So tell me something else while I'm thinking, because I know when people discover um, that um, they have a gift, in the Lord, which God gives us all gifts. It's yes. just a matter of, of finding of, your gift. Yes, exercising and, and bringing it into into play, exactly. into uh, the way God wants it manifested. Exactly. And so once you discover your gift uh, or many gifts, I know trial comes around. Yes. So after you had that initial song and continued play, can you say that it was smooth sailing thereafter, um, up to now? Or? It was it was smooth sailing, Miss Veronica. But in, in 2004, I was diagnosed with a disease called fibromyalgia, and if anybody out there knows what I'm talking about, it's a very painful disease. It's a it's a, it's a disease that attacks the soft tissue and nerve, and it's a painful disease from the time you wake up to the time you. You go to bed, you have to get antidepressants. Um, my husband, who's the rock, uh, knew my passion. And um, he, we went from doctors to doctors, but still I would sing because I had obligations. But at some, at some points, I, I would say, you know, maybe this Sunday I can get someone to go and replace me because I just can't get out of bed. And he said, Bay, he's going to do something. Oh. Something's going to come up. Let's just continue doing. And when I would sing on Sundays, I would do the first Sunday. We would sing. It was beautiful. I would go home, and I was in pain. Then I started thinking. I said, you know, when I'm singing and praising his name, Either I'm forgetting about the pain oh. or he's just not letting me have any pain. Amen. So I said, you know, I'm going to continue singing. Now, <laughs> we can just kind of erase some of the doctors because we're exchanging some things. So I'm still fighting with fibromyalgia, but I'm not fighting fibromyalgia 
without Jesus oh. because I have been traveling. We have been traveling. We have concerts coming up. And when I'm there singing and anybody in my family can testify that when I'm singing, I have a healing awesome. that comes over me.